I really like that there's a very wide diversity of students here. Like, pretty much every second person you, you meet is totally, entirely different from the other one. But, like, people here are, from my experience, very friendly. I haven't had too much negative experience at York. So my favorite thing about York is the sense of community that I feel, and I've said that to everybody just because I feel like when I come on campus there's a wide range of activities, things I could do, people who are willing to connect with you, uh, learn with you, grow with you. Um, you know, it's been the best experience thus far because of that. I feel like York is home. It's so diverse, and diverse in every way. You know, there's so many opportunities, programs, uh, people you meet. It's just, I've never felt limited at York. Through York, I was able to involve myself in independent research and get an understanding of how academia works, how does research work, how do labs work, and all of that. And um, I wouldn't have gotten into grad school without it. Based on my past three years here, I've been able to kind of consistently go to workshops where I get to learn new things, um, interact with people that are very supportive, and really um, strive to want me to succeed and stuff like that. So I expect my professors to have a general goodwill for their students. I want the professors to genuinely want the students to learn. I guess it's to understand that it's a very intense kind of environment where students are really trying their best in terms of building that resume, building their marks, uh, furthering their life and also trying to help themselves find a career path. Be as involved in student success as you can because I really do think that you can tell when your prof is really, really interested in uh, seeing their students succeed. You know, you can tell within the amount of resources they give you, how passionate they are about teaching. It's just, it's, it's a really lovely experience. It always helps when professors are very enthusiastic within the classroom and very high energy. Um, not that they're sitting down and just reading off the PowerPoint slides because students tend to lose their interest. But definitely being enthusiastic and very active, that always helps. Engaging the students helps as well. They need to clearly state uh, what they expect of us at the starting of the semester so that the students know what they have to do in order to succeed in that course. Like I've taken so many courses and they were all so different you know, depending on the content, you know, the testing style, uh, they're all different, so students have to, like, spend time to figure out what to do in order to succeed. Reflecting what the, what the professors want to see in the students in themselves, I think, is what I want to see from professors. So the number one thing that stands out to me in a professor is the interaction they have with their students. And I don't want a professor to be talking at me I want them to be talking with me. It's really important that they're engaged with their own material or else it won't inspire the students to do the same. York is very much commuter centric and I think it's a real challenge for professors to engage students and encourage them to come to class you know every day and, and to want to be there because it's so easy for students to say well I'm not going to take the bus today or I'm not going to hop in the car today and come to campus so it's a real challenge for them but you know to a certain degree the student has to take initiative and want to be there but the professor also has to, to get you engaged. Well, of course, I expect um, to learn something from them in an engaging way. Um, I like professors who um, sort of push students to really immerse themselves in the material as opposed to just reading read the textbook and memorizing it and then going and um, writing an exam on it. Um, I like professors who sort of give personal examples and um, who um, create discussion among the class, um, among people in the class. Students are not very picky. <laughs> uh, we are very easygoing as long as we feel that uh, someone is there to listen and is understanding. Um, and we, uh, we just want um, simple things, going to class, understanding the material, and then um, when we have questions, uh, if we can get the answers, and as long as we feel that uh, the prof is listening and is understanding mm -hmm. towards us, I think uh, it's good enough. I, I love learning, but I also enjoy being listened to, because that way I can ask questions and I can engage with my professor in an active dialogue, and I'm actively learning rather than passively learning. So I really appreciate that from professors who take the time out to listen to students.
I think encouraging students to engage with one another. Um, not only just having the students with the material, but actually um, one of my favorite courses I ever took, the professor like at intermittent points in his lecture would stop the material for a second and ask the students a question about the material and then he'd ask them to like kind of discuss in groups with one another about what they really think about it because that collaboration is how we kind of get new ideas and get involved and we feel like we're a part of something bigger. In class for example, professors could be either writing long notes on the, on the, on the, black, on the blackboard or the, or the whiteboard or they could be interacting with students um, relating all the concepts to real life examples, pulling out examples from their personal lives um, making, making the classroom more of a conversation instead of more of um, a three hour or an hour and a half lecture. I think, I think it's really important to try different thing, different ways of teaching because I think everyone learns differently. Like always changing it and keeping it different so that at least every student in the classroom at one point in the course says, oh I remember that lecture, I enjoyed that lecture, you know. Um, I think being flexible with students. Um, as students, a lot of things happen. Um, sometimes, you know, our homework is eaten by our dogs, or uh, um, lightning strikes on our houses, or something happens. Um, or we actually have legit medical or family issues, and it would be really, it would be really beneficial if, if every professor in every class was open to um, to committing to helping the student out making the material presentable, relating uh, materials in the in class, you know, so students can further understand the material. You know, I won't be able to come to class knowing that, you know, I will enjoy what I'm learning and that, the, that, that in fact, the professor is making things engaging, in making students engaged in class. I feel like, uh, like, every course has two components. Like, you have the textbook and then you have the lecture component. And if the professor just repeats what the textbook is saying, then it's not so helpful because we can just go home and just read the textbook. Uh, they can expect me to uh, yeah, ask a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just to be a critical thinker in the class. I think they can expect us to want to learn as much as they want to teach. And it really is sort of a give and take sort of dynamic when it comes to uh, teaching. Even in a university where there's like a huge classroom, so because um, when you're excited, I'm excited. Uh, if you're bored, mm. <laughs> sometimes when we give an assignment and it kind of appears out in the left field, um, it might just be because we're actually just trying to uh, expand beyond what the assignment was for, and that maybe we're just trying to figure out our own selves in terms of the assignments. As a student, you could probably expect that I'll be very busy, but when I'm in the classroom, I'll want to just soak up everything that I can, uh, want to learn, want to be engaged. I'll probably ask a million questions, just because I, I think sometimes professors ignite that spark that leads to so many other things, that, whether it's topics or questions or curiosities, and that's the coolest thing about university in general, too. Don't come in with expectations on how it's going to be because the people in the classroom will surprise you. The TTC is very slow, so take into account if you're commuting, it's going to be awful. Wear comfortable shoes because to walk from parking lot to, to the classes is so long, so comfortable shoes is a must. <laughs> Bring a map. <laughs> the students make York amazing, the profs make York amazing. Um, I wouldn't have gone anywhere else. I just want to welcome all the professors to York, and I, and I hope like they have an awesome time. Have fun. Welcome to York. Welcome to York. Welcome to York. Welcome to York.